Hey guys, what's going on? So I just wanted to do a small tutorial on how you can use an external flash on Sony Alpha 6500. It's also applicable to the Sony Alpha 6300, 6000. So I'm going to use uh, one flash trigger and as well as the flash itself. So this is uh, basically uh, the Godox uh, TT685S as you see on the screen and uh, this is the flash trigger that I'll be using. So this is basically for the Sony cameras because the this directly goes on to the hot shoe mount over the camera so that it can communicate electronically to signal the camera when it has to trigger the flash and when it doesn't. So you can use this uh, to trigger it wirelessly. Maybe if you want to keep the flash somewhere in a room or somewhere behind the curtains or somewhere at a farther location than the camera itself. So you can use this in that scenario. You can, you can also use this directly on the camera basically because this still uses the same shoe mount as the camera or the flash trigger. So it can directly go sit on the camera and trigger itself when it requires. And to do that, you just have to just remove this cover and directly place it on the camera's shoe mount. So here's a place where it actually goes. And this is how it goes. So you just take this two devices together and slide it in there and tighten the screw and that's it and that's it you have now a flash trigger a wireless flash trigger with a pretty good camera in your hand so to get going I, I just wanted to do a small test setup on this whole of, of the device itself to show you how you can use it and take the advantage of the flash so it was quite uh, quite difficult at the earlier phase when I was trying to use this setup together uh, because I didn't know much of uh, the steps uh, that we needed to configure on this flash trigger uh, before we even get started. Okay, before we even go there, let's actually review these two products together. So this is a flash trigger basically. So this goes on top of your camera as I told you and it uses I believe two AA size batteries. So I've kept mine there think you can use uh, rechargeable batteries but I'm using this because I have plenty of them sitting there and so here's uh, uh, the side layout of this uh, wireless flash trigger so you have on and off button it's kind of a generic and as well uh, on the side and this is a wireless uh, infrared uh, uh, what do you say infrared receiver or trigger so basically it sends a signal to and fro to the device and and on the top portion as you see you have um, the the trigger button so you if you want to test the functionality of the flash you can just press this and see if it is connected and the other one just shows you the status whether it's connected or not so that's the wireless trigger and this is the flash itself now and as I told, this is Godox, so both work together pretty good. And uh, so even this actually has a power supply option. And I think, uh, probably I think this is for firmware. I don't think this actually, this actually can be used as a power supply input. I don't think that is basically acceptable. I think the option is this. Thing. they have the proprietary ports that they want to use on this device so I'm not quite sure in that area so let's put this aside and yep uh, yeah nothing much nothing specific about it uh, so here are the menus that I was seeing about that you have to configure before we get started so I basically use it in the wireless mode. So that means it's kind of a sleeve and I have the master as the flash trigger itself. So it basically triggers this wirelessly. 
so i use it only in that mode i never explode the rest of the options probably i may do it sometime when i need it and on the top portion as you see there's uh, uh, there's a diffuser i mean to let the brightness go down you can use it i've used it a couple of times when i'm in sunny situation just place it like this and here we go you have a pretty good looking flash with a diffuser okay so that's the trigger the flash itself let's actually put this on the camera and then see okay once you supply the power to the devices let's turn them on so here's what you get basically so this is uh, uh, the shutter speed that you want to set on your camera so I preferably feel it working much better in auto mode I mean when the camera is in auto mode I did not change all the settings the camera manages itself and so I basically use it um, at the at uh, the shutter speed of 1 by 128th of a second so I'm gonna use it in the slave mode right now so to to get going just power this on so to change the mode as a slave you have to turn and press this button you know which is on the right side and let's change it so it comes a manual and control mode TTL okay TTL correct so this mode is uh, where you have to use so there's a small you know kind of a Wi Fi you know wireless signal and it says TTL I hope you're able to see it yes it says TTL and it says slave because we're using a flash trigger and so yeah so let's test this together right now so we have the flash uh, set it up and the, ma the the trigger itself is set up so let's press this and see basically if you wanted this to be tested on the uh, on the device or on the camera uh, um, this one's more requirement that as this is uh, infrared based signal or some kind of a signaling you have to place this device a little bit far from the flash trigger or else they, there's a slight chance of mis uh, the communication getting broken and this wireless flash will never trigger so i've placed the device i mean i placed the flash there and the camera is next to me let's actually turn it on and see if it works maybe probably it's spending much of the time there okay so we have uh, the camera right now set it up and okay so that was the flash if you have seen it i didn't make much of the changes i've just plugged in the device and triggering the shut up uh, in the capture button so that's it so that was it guys i hope you have liked this video please do subscribe to my channel and leave me your questions or feedback i will definitely try to answer them and for now i want to say bye bye and see you again